okay everyone welcome back so now we'll understand how we can iterate over a string how can we loop over a string so as i've told you you have to understand strings as a list of characters okay for example when you create a string let's say st equals to aditya okay and when you print st it actually prints aditya right but what i told you internally internally the computer is treating it as a list of characters okay for example if i print list of this string aditya okay just see what happens a d i t i a it is a list of different different characters but in short it is a list of each of the individual characters present in this particular string a d i t i a okay if even if you put space and you write gen even the space will be considered as one of the characters okay as simple as that so this is how python is understanding your string as now is why are you telling all this okay this is the reason the length function also tells you the number of characters and this is the same reason that you are able to iterate over strings you know why let me tell you so how do you iterate over a list of integers suppose i give you a equals to 4 5 7 2 okay how do you do that you simply say for element in a print element right this is how you iterate over a particular list correct similarly similarly you can iterate over a string do one thing right to the top iterating over strings okay so let's take an example let's take an example suppose you have st equals to okay now, as i told you that a string is treated as a list of characters so whatever you have learned whatever you have learned for your list you can also apply here for example if you have to access the very first character you will say st of 0 you will get capital a okay you can say st of 1 you will get the second character you can say st of 3 you will get the fourth character okay as simple as that the only major difference is the only major difference is when you are working with let me print a when you are working with lists lists are mutable and this the concept of mutable and immutable you will understand in the advanced section of python okay i'll say lists are mutable that means you can actually modify a particular index of a list for example you know that if i do a of 2 equals to minus 10 and if i print a okay it will replace this 7 with minus 10 you know that right but if i print the string st okay and if i try to modify a particular character let's say st of 2 equals to capital h something it will give me error stating that does not support item assignment okay so remember that strings are immutable okay you cannot modify not not modify okay you cannot modify a particular index of string okay you can access it but you cannot modify it one very important point but there is a hacky way what is that hacky way so actually internally it creates a copy but it looks like it has not created any copy and you can still work with that and again the details about this i'll talk about in the advanced section which is a very interesting concept of mutability and immutability in python very very frequently asked in interviews okay basically what i'm saying is suppose i have st equals to adit and i can do like this st equals to st plus chain why to say adit let's call it aditya okay so now when i print st now when i print st okay it works as fine it works as fine because internally it is creating a copy and you're not modifying the string itself 
but you will not understand it at this stage okay. in short you can do this string concatenation and then change or append something but you cannot go and change a particular character that's still not allowed okay first one second important point the way you are iterating over a list you can iterate over a string because as i told you string is treated as a list of characters so if i print your st it is aditya space chain right what i can do is i can say for every character in and again ch is a variable name for every character in st print ch that's it and as you can see i am actually iterating over the list uh, over the string character by character a d i t y a space j okay. and if you want to do it you can do it via way two as well this is direct access i hope you remember this from your string uh, from your list lectures direct accessing again this direct accessing is not a concept i'm just giving it my own name okay and v2 is accessing using index okay so i can say n equals to length of st and then i can say for ch or sorry for i in or i in range n how can i print a particular character Correct. print st of i that's it and this is how i can print a particular character so both ways are completely fine you can go by the way you are comfortable with in this we have talked about how we can iterate over strings what are actually strings how are they treated as list of characters and we have understood the major difference between strings and simple list which is mutability and immutability i hope that it was useful thank you